Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk all about pretty beauty. I know, I know that, that isn't all beauty pretty. Uh, let me rephrase it. I didn't mean to be confusing. I mean beauty products, this group that I've amassed here, that is so darn beautiful that you almost, almost, not quite, almost don't want to touch it. I can't wait to delve into all this, and I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure that you also follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. Okay, but let's get started. I have three brands that I have put into this group. Three brands have sent me items in PR, luckily, and when I opened them, I was so overwhelmed by their beauty that I didn't want to touch them. And I realized I had quite a grouping of those, so I thought I would put them all together and show you. I mean, you know, we've been doing all these holiday videos, and you know, I thought maybe you might want something for yourself or an early gift for someone else. And these are sure to impress. I do have a face full of it. We're gonna go to a demo, but you should see what I got, you guys. And I'm gonna link it all down below for you to take a look at. While you're down there, make sure that you check out our link to become a member of this channel for $4.99 or your country's equivalent a month for weekly members only lives. Uh, but all of these products will be down there as well. Um, you gotta see what I got here. I got Flight 70. You've got to see this. Uh, this is just absolutely beautiful. I've got Flight 70. That's a blush and a bronzer. It's too pretty to use. I've got the What's Up Beauty Serengeti collection. You'll see it better. I've got Florasis. Uh, wait till you see. I've got a whole table full of Florasis. I'll just give you a little sneak peek. And it, this is makeup that is so pretty that it should not be touched. It should just be framed. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go to a demo where I explain this all and we're gonna put together this really quick fun little everyday look that I have using this kind of smorgasbord of products that is almost too pretty to touch. Almost, but not quite. Take a moment before we go to the demo and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. It really helps me grow if you could click subscribed or if you thought you were subbed, make sure that you're still subbed because YouTube plays some games sometimes with deleting subscribers. I'm just saying. All right, let's go ahead and cut to the demo. Stay All right, let's get started looking at some makeup that's pretty before you even put it on your face. And we'll start with Flight 70. They were kind enough to send this to me, so I'm really excited to share it with you as I was not familiar with the brand to begin with. Look at this. It's a bronzer and a blush and a bronzer. It's really whatever you want it to be. You can swirl it together and then get a little bit of sun kissed all over the face. You can go in just right here and have a little bit of blush. This one that I am holding up for you right here is called Vacation and it is really, really beautiful. Um, that is why I'm including it here. I want to just kind of mix it together and just give my face a little bit of color um, and just kind of warm it up. I'm doing it very haphazardly. As you can see, I just kind of want to give it a little bit, a little bit more color to my face. Kind of nice. And then I thought I would take a very small brush right here and actually just go in to, you know, you're going to get a little bit of the uh, brown color on it, but depending on your skin tone, um, you know, kind of medium, light to medium, light medium, you can go in here and also use this as a warm blush. A little bit uneven there, but not too bad. And into the middle there, that's really pretty. And this is the product that I really wanted to feature was their Color Block Burnished Bronzer in Vacation, but there's other shades. But I also thought since we're talking about Flight 70, that we can also do a little bit with, they have this really interesting uh, chiseled lip lip shaper like this and it comes with a refill. This one has quite a few different shades. So the Color Block Burnished Bronzer is $48. This little uh, chiseling lip lip shaper is $28, but you can get a refill for 16, which is kind of cool. And I just thought we would try it. It's a little bit off theme. Huh. 
wasn't that easy to use. And look, it just kind of, ooh, that was so easy. I just kind of shaped my lip with it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really cool. It's kind of just like a little bit of, just a little hint. I kind of like that. And I like that you can get the refill. So after you've wound it up and it's gone, you can get a little refill. And they also uh, sell these balms for $32. This is in six shades, but they got me the shade called Alone. Let's see it. Oh, that's really comfy. It's kind of just a little hint of color. Look how much more done up I look, and it doesn't really look like there's much on my face. I could actually just kind of go out like this. So let me just show you that. That's the shade alone. See, it's just a little hint. And let me show you the uh, chiseled lip shaper in situation. Just a little hint. Almost a little bit of nothing in a good way. I just feel a little bit more done up. What a pretty... What a nice little line. I'm really interested in learning more about these guys. They were kind enough to send this out my way, but I am duly impressed. That is super, super pretty, and I have it all linked below in case you guys want to look at it too. All right, let's talk about this What's Up Beauty Serengeti Highlighter Collection. You can also get with the collection, either separately or in a bundle, their goat hair highlighting brush. If you were to buy this brush separately, it's $40, but you can actually get the entire collection, both highlighters and the brush for $91. I'll put it all down below. We have two colors in each pan. So we have Safari Sunset. That's this shade right here. Let me make sure that's, yeah, it is. That's Safari Sunset. I'll swatch them for you. And here is Wild Acacia. Wild Acacia. Safari Sunset. I'm turning them away from the light so you can see them better. And then we have the little brush. And again, this is like four shades. Let's let's look at them here. So we got, ooh, that's pretty. Got that shade right there. Ooh. Then the other shade. And it doesn't really take off the beautiful. I mean, that is pretty. That is pretty. This is a little bit pinker almost. Start moving on to here. And that white shade, that's the wild acacia. Isn't that pretty? Oh wow, this is almost too pretty to use. Almost. I'm going to apply it now with the provided brush. With the brush, this is the wild acacia. And I'm just choosing to use only the pink shade. This highlighting brush is really nice because it's super tapered and it's goat's hair so it, it really picks up the product well. It's not pretty. I overdid it a little bit because you guys are looking uh, here on camera but wow I mean honestly I feel like I'm kind of set to go out. I don't always wear a ton of eye makeup to begin with but I do have um, some mascara on and it just feels really really pretty. Wow that is gorgeous. Okay now Let's jump over to Florasis. Now, Florasis is already known for their gorgeous makeup. And what I'm going to show you, you know, it's, it's so beautiful. But let me tell you, you know, they also have skincare. I've been playing with and really enjoying their skincare. They've got this cleansing balm. You know, you dip into it. There's me using it. And then you put it on your face and it takes off your makeup. But they also have like these really travel friendly cleansers right now. Look at this. So here's a cleansing oil and you get a whole box of them and they're just little oils. How genius is this for travel? D raise your hand if you would have liked this on your last trip. Just cleansing oil, toss it away. So it comes like that. You can get that through security on airlines easily, and you get like a whole pack of them. But not only that, look at this. They've got cleansing wipes. If you like to use makeup wipes, look at that. So they come out here. Got two wipes in one. It folds like that. So you got a cleansing wipe, and you've got the oil. I mean, that's really cool. And again, all of this is listed below. So Florasis is really kind of growing and doing amazing things. But we're here to look at the beauty. One of them is their powder. We have a beautiful peach powder here with that traditional kind of Florasis velvet, velour, blue, beautiful powder. If you love to powder your face, we have got this highlighter. Check this out. 
Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's a shame to use it. Let's just take a look at what it looks like, shall we? Oh, just kind of a beautiful champagne highlight. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. We put on highlighter, but if not, oh, it's so... It, it really does feel like a shame to use it, but I'll tell you what we are going to use, and that is this Phoenix palette. So that highlighter I was showing you is $39, uh, and I will list all of this below. This is the Phoenix palette, and it is $59. Just feast your eyes on that, please. Just take a look at that for a moment. Isn't that just gorgeous? And the thing about Florasis is it just has such beautiful, beautiful shades. Let me show you this swatched, and I'll put the highlighter all the way towards my wrist so you can see it as well. But just take a look at that palette swatched. Isn't that amazing? And then let's take it outside into the warm California sunshine and take a look at it too. This is a beautiful palette, and I've got a nice fluffy brush here from Sonia G, and I thought we would just put a little bit of it on today. Um, the really nice thing about it too is you can just, all of their shades are as useful as they are pretty, and the engraving is really deep in there, like all of these palettes. I know now that I don't really have to be so precious with them because they really do still look pretty even after you use them. So I'm gonna go in here on this one, just put it into the center. I'm just keeping the same brush because I just I'm just having fun here, guys. And this really is quite a good look for the holidays. Um, you can combine this with maybe a um, matte bronzer if you wanted to, but I like this. And you can even, there's a matte right here matte right here. So I'm going to put that in rather than a bronzer. So there's these matte shades that I'm putting in right here and I'm just kind of mixing them just to give it a little bit more depth because I, really every shimmer palette probably could use some sort of a matte or that's how I feel. But they gave you really grounding mattes in this palette. Look, I'm just using the same brush, you guys. I'm just doing a fun everyday kind of look. All right, let's try one of the wilder shades. Let's go into this purple here and just put it across the lid. Oh my God, it's so, you know, uh, Florasis does not get enough credit for how innovative their formulas are. They get a lot of credit for how pretty the products are. And I mean, you know, no one's gonna argue with that, but the formula is really, really a pleasure to use. Their products are easy to use and um, elegant. They apply elegant and they look elegant. They're, and their lip products, I don't have any lip products, new ones here to show you guys, but let me just say I'm always massively impressed with their lip products. So there's the way the violet shade looks in the pan. And then on the eyes, isn't that super pretty? Okay, I know you guys want me to do something a little deeper. Let's try this one. I don't need it, but let's just put it in the corner. Just a little bit. I just don't want to get crazy here. I don't like the rainbow eyes, you guys know, but I, I, I know we want to try this out. And I like this because it's really subtle and gentle. That is a pretty eye look. These specific products are truly almost, almost too pretty to touch. Um, I would say that the Flight 70 is the most down to earth, but still makes a beautiful gift. I just wanted to show you the lip products because I'm just personally really fond of them, but that's just makes a gorgeous presentation. It's really thoughtful. What's Up Beauty continues to perfect the art of makeup creation. They really are just outstanding. I just see such a beautiful future uh, for What's Up Beauty. And Florasis, remember, it's beautiful but also incredibly useful. I mean, those travel, those, uh, you know, it's almost like a nice little stocking stuff for those travel makeup. And I've used it, as you saw in the video. It works really, really well. I mean, they always put together a beautiful presentation, including, you know, cleansers that are to go. I understand that's fun and cute, but they also perform well, so it doesn't really stop at pretty. Uh, so, I, will, I, I just highly recommend everything on my table here. And I think I put together a really fun little pretty look and maybe yourself or somebody on your holiday list would enjoy this, these little treats as well. So let me know. I mean, that's what makes us a community. Give me your opinion, please. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.